<clears throat> Welcome to another ride along with goggles. And um, <laughs> we're starting in a weird position here. We're in the uh, garage in Billings, Montana, that uh, Recon has rebuilt into his Montana Expansion 2.0, which uh, the new release came out yesterday. Uh, this being Sunday, I hope, <laughs> when you're seeing this. And uh, so, yeah, when we spawned here, I came up here from uh, Mile City. And the trailer I had on came with me, and it spawns next door. That's Bart's uh, Great Dane, and I got Rudus 389 here. And I just wanted to show you this, where we spawned. And uh, we'll uh, have a look at this as we drive by it on the way out of the cold storage, which is where we're going to get our load next door. So I'm just going to pause, and we'll come back when we're loaded. Back in a bit. All right. We're all loaded up and ready to go. Heading to Helena with a urgent delivery of frozen foods. Well, I better get rolling here. So this uh, new paint job, this is one of those paintable things. You can paint all the colors on there, whatever your heart desires. And uh, I thought, well, I did that one with that sort of, uh, it was kind of like the Fleener Brothers, Kenworth that paint job so this is a very common paint job on Peterbilt's and I thought well why not uh, do this one on the 389 so this is Ruta's but I imagine I'll be able to put it on some other trucks too well those lamppost shadows are wiggling pretty badly uh, that is frame rates are good 130 some so this is there's the sign the new Billings cold storage and it's a whole new building Billings cold storage and there's one easy pickup spot on the front and there's one on the side where we were and there's a couple more in the back and uh, I think where we picked up might be the hard parking for B doubles if you're gonna try that which uh, I'm definitely gonna try at some point so there's our shop across the road here. That's where we were at the beginning. And a trailer was in that bay right there. And Recon added this big pile of dirt here. And cat dozer up there and some construction equipment. It's kind of cool. So I want to give a shout out to the guys on my Discord. Uh, I know I've talked them up a bit lately and uh, you know this evening, this is uh, Friday evening and uh, put a bunch of folks on and the subject came up about somebody was asking what's a good mod truck and everybody had their different opinions and some people were against mods and some people were, I'd never pay you know $80 for a mod and other people were, oh man they're great and this is why and yada yada and it went back and forth and it was totally respectful respectful nobody flamed anybody it was uh, really proud of you guys and way to carry on a conversation and at the end of it all everybody just gave each other thumbs ups and uh, agreed to disagree and let's go let's uh, just have fun with it it was awesome really like to see that and uh, could be prouder of everybody on the discord really a uh, welcoming place to be and uh, I just I just really happy to see the way uh, that interaction went and uh, of course <laughs> of course I came down on the side of mods <laughs> you know me A little stuttery at times. Gotta look into my graphic settings. I had to take a mod out of my mod order today because it was crashing the game. And it all coincided with that update that we got today to uh, we're at 146 2.4. And when that update came, all of a sudden the game was crashing left, right, and center. 
and uh, I ended up, uh, well, what did I put in lately? And it was that uh, Vanguard mod, a trailer mod. I took it out and everything's good again. But in the doing, it reset a whole bunch of my settings. Like, yeah, steering and shifting and um, preferences, all kinds of stuff I had to put back, which is really weird. And on top of all that, I'm having a heck of a time with this, uh, what, you know, up until Monday was the best mod I had was the uh, force feedback mod for the G25. It's actually called the real G27. You've heard me talk about it before. And uh, it doesn't work. It just doesn't, it loads. It, there's two files, an SII and a DLL. You put them in the uh, uh, Win64 in, in the bin folder for American Truck Sim, and they generate a log and everything the way it's supposed to. Real G27 dot whatever log, FBB dot log. You look in there, and I can't figure it out. I just don't know why it's doing it. So. Um, this steering wheel, this unit here, not the wheel itself, is probably 20 years old or so, maybe more. It's a G25, like when did they come out? And I got it when they came out. So it's really old. So I see there's a sale on right now, ends December 1st. I could, I guess, get myself a G29. And uh, I don't need the shifter, so probably going to have to end up doing that. So, because uh, my friend Matt got a hold of me and he was saying, uh, well, we're talking about other things, but uh, you mentioned in closing that he finally got with the G-Hub and his G29 working. He says it's fantastic. So, well, might have to do the same. Because what I got going on here, like the steering wheel, it just, it's terrible. I'm going to go over here, but we might get caught out here. I got to watch that map real closely for a turn. Oh, I got two GPS's going. I got the wrong dashboard in here. Oh, boy. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> probably a good thing for me, the way I get lost. Oh, here's that new load of hay. Yeah, it looks quite a bit different than the old one. See on the back, it's got some, they try and make it a look a little bit 3D. Which is good. Better than it used to be. You've got two of these uh, classic car and truck, or truck and trailer the trucks are what's holding everything up here. As much as I like uh, seeing those things in the game, uh, it's just not conducive to having a load on like this one where it's urgent. I'm going 60 and a 70. And uh, I don't see that ending anytime soon. It's a stalemate. Hopefully turn off somebody. Nope. Oh, is that guy getting brave up there? I hate to do it. 
do it, but I'm going to just show this guy uh, my fender here. See how much we got to show him before he'll move. Don't want to hit him. There he goes. Wow. Get up here and do it to this guy. That guy was doing nothing wrong. It's these two. This guy in particular doing the fast lane thing. Let's have a look and see how long we are here. Oh, I think we're going to be all right. Probably going to turn off just around this corner. Oh, I wonder why it's so urgent. Maybe my reefer's not working. Let's see. Indicator light. Can't see it in the mirror. I know. I think even the SCS trailers, the light shows up. Should be a green light on the midway up the corner of the trailer there, saying the reefer's running. Oh yeah, on the giveaway, so uh, I should mention that. So uh, I'm going to announce the contest rules on December 1st. i got to decide what it's going to be yet. Uh, i got suggestions open on the Discord. And uh, at the end of December, it's going to be whoever wins the contest is going to win a Ruta mod of their choice. Like truck or trailer, I don't think. It, well, I gotta look. The trailer pack may be doable, but um, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do in December. So I just gotta figure out what we want to do for a competition. I'd like the uh, Discord members to uh, decide. I want to see some ideas and then put it to a little vote. But we don't have much time. Probably end up being a photo competition because that seems to be the fairest thing to do because um, not everybody can just put in unlimited miles and drive and drive like if it's a driving competition. Uh, some people have more time than others, so taking a really artistic photo somewhere or when it's really intriguing or interesting, or that's something most people can do. If you already have uh, all of Ruta's stuff, you could, uh, and you win, you can always gift it to a friend. Pushing uh, 950 subscribers almost. I imagine we'll get there before the weekend's over. It'll be kind of neat. Get that final 50 done and here we go. This is our right turn up here. Well, it's been a while since we've been in Montana, eh?
this loads only 33,000 pounds. Kind of feels heavier. Maybe I got really tall gears and stuff. That's got to be it. Yeah, that's got to be it. Probably got 323s in here or something. Oh, you know what we got to do? Five miles to go, and we're going to the Walbert. So I've got the real place names uh, removed from the mod folder, so you can see I actually did it for Texas. But then with Recon releasing his uh, update, I thought better get back up to Montana. And uh, I took the um, real place names out so I could see the the new businesses in Texas because there's quite a few of them. Too bad you can't tune those two GPSs separately. It's a real nice through here. They did a really good job with this Montana. And that was, uh, boy, uh, <laughs> talking to Recon this morning. Or I guess it was just after lunch. And uh, we're talking about that update, uh, 0.2.4, and the, just the sheer number of things that were in it that they fixed, holy. Like, it was an unending list. And it wasn't just Texas, there was stuff all over the map. But uh, it's kind of like they almost released Texas knowing they weren't really ready and they would get all this stuff in an update. Because that was an unusually big list. Texas is an unusually big state, but uh, that was a big list. have the voice nav going. I think this isn't too complicated a route. So this truck, um, this paint job, it hopefully it's fairly faithful to what Peterbilt's is. It's a little tricky going over the hood on these things. So from some angles, like this angle looks perfect. And then you look here, it's good. Then you go this way, you can see it coming over the hood and then join the side but not a whole lot you can do about it. A guy could probably mess with it for a day or so, and, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Of course, you can make, like I said earlier, any color you want. It looks pretty good in pastels and things like that, like, you know, real custom cool show truck. Is this the Walbert we're going to? Nope, there's another one, I guess. I gotta figure out the settings, like all this flickering stuff. I didn't used to have that, so definitely gotta do something with my graphic settings. Frame rates aren't terrible, but uh, it's just something's not right. I'll have to go through it.
that's too bad because I really like that Vanguard trailer, but it's based on the default trailer. And I'm just wondering if when that update came along, if something update happened with the default trailer, if it didn't happen with it, uh, the mod, and uh, and I, who knows, maybe it's not the mod, but that's what solved my problem, so it's removing it. Where do they need it? Oh, this could be sort of challenge. Well, no, not too bad. I think we're going to do it from out here, though. We'll do a... we got way more room, I think. We could do it from here. Instead of uh, getting all jammed up between the building and those cars. I have the lights off because uh, I think John Rudo has got to fix this light problem he has. Or when you turn the lights on, it kills the frame rates. And uh, that's something that needs to be looked at. Because I mean, I hop in other trucks and some do it, some don't. The Pister does it a little bit. Not as much as this truck. Some don't do it at all. This is one of those, oh yeah, darn, there's yellow things back there, we got to get right between them, so, oh, I should have remembered that, well, we can do it. Oh, I'll call that part. Well, thanks for riding along, guys. And uh, let's see what we did here. Brakes? There we go. No lights to turn off because I'm not running them. <coughs> That's not terrible. Not terrible. Yep. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to look on John Ruda's uh, Discord and see if maybe he's at least talking about this light thing, because uh, you can't, can't leave it like that. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Well, hope you enjoyed it, guys. I uh, certainly appreciate your uh, viewership and uh, subscriptions, and give her a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed it, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and look for... Um, a uh, link to my Discord in the um, mod description, as well as uh, a link to my ATS tutorials. Cause I think I have 15 or 18 or something in there, various topics that you might find handy. In particular, I think I still see a lot of people struggling with mod load order, and um, you might get something out of that. And uh, map mod order, like if you want to run a bunch of maps, you know, some good info in there. And skinning and whatever else. Engines, using Zmods, open defs. Uh, got a bunch of things in there. Anyway, as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You guys take care out there. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.